Welcome back to the lab, folks. So what we're going to do is go through some more mail. Now, I'm going to try and get through most of it pretty quickly because there's a lot of it. And um, just let you know which, which pieces I'll probably do videos on later. And uh, keep the discussion brief because I'd like to get through all this stuff. Okay, Beifeng Radio. This is, uh, I'm not going to open this up now. I've got a, a, a plan for another video where I've got other radios that are coming and, and uh, the accessories. We'll, we'll go through all that. So look forward to that one. Ah, okay, yeah. It's a, another addition to my tool kit. It's a, a probe, an oscilloscope probe. It's a 100 to 1 probe. I don't have one, and uh, I recently recently needed to measure a voltage that was very close to the limit of using a 10 to 1 probe, and I, you know, I just got a little bit uncomfortable when the voltage is getting really high. Now this will allow me to measure much higher voltages. So this is 100 to 1. You don't have to switch it. There's no switch on it or anything like that. It's only a 100 megahertz probe, but it should come in handy. For anything with higher voltages, so yeah, good. It's a good thing to have. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. The drill bits. I'll put links to all this stuff down. I don't off the head, off my head know exactly what I paid for all these stuff, and you know, some a lot of the stuff I paid the dollar ninety nine U S for, and you can no longer get them at those prices. You know that. The vendors that go in on these deals only do it for so long, and once they sell out the inventory they got in for the deal, they don't provide that anymore. Now, these are just small drill bits, and uh, these are the ones I tend to break all the time. Um, so, yeah, they were a pretty good deal. I don't know how good they are. I've never bought these drill bits off these people before, but uh, these are the sizes that I use mostly for electronics. Big bag, this multi shipping bag. This is just what it looks like. It is heat shrink. Various different sizes. You can never have too much heat shrink. And mostly, you know, I go through mostly the, the small sizes here. So I have ordered some more just in the smaller sizes, you know, to go around terminals and stuff like that. And these bigger ones here I don't tend to use. So I've got a lot of the big ones. Ah, yeah. Six millimeter terminals. So I got I got a set of these. I think I showed it in a previous video that I used on my Siglent uh, DC load. And I just replaced the caps on the, the the Siglent load with the caps from these. But I thought to myself, I you know I don't have a decent AC load, and what I generally do is I pull out some power resistors. So what I thought I'd do, and this is for a future project. Is I would um, I'd get myself one of those big power resistors, variable power resistor, and maybe 50 ohm, 200 watt job, build it into a cabinet, and then have these as the input. So I'm going to build an AC load, and these are going to be the input to it. But, uh, ah, this is something I bought on a whim. I don't know why I bought these. I don't really have a use for them, but these are these are laser diodes. What am I going to do with laser diodes? What I'll do is I'll try to run maybe 20 milliamps through it, see if it produces any light. Uh, if anybody knows what they're really rated at. Okay, so I've got the power supply set to limit at 20 milliamps. I think going you know, by the way they're constructed here, it looks like they should be able to take a bit more than 20 milliamps. But uh, let's just look at the light that comes out of it. Is it even visible? Yeah, they're visible. It definitely looks like a laser. It keeps a pretty fine dot. Okay, the wall over there is about three meters away and it dots about one centimeter. Now maybe I could put them on sharks. So I have sharks with lasers mounted to them. Ah, right, right. Okay. But these are, are uh, these are 
a single cell battery management module and it does say on the AliExpress um, ad that I got them on how you hook them up but I think the cells the cells go in these two and the power comes off these two so this one here is the negative and these two are the positive okay one more well there's lots more actually <laughs> What is this? Is this a bag within a bag thing? Yeah, kind of. Bag within a bag within a bag. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is another thing I bought on a total whim. I don't really have an application for it. Just like mostly like a toy. It'll probably another module of the month thing. What it is, is a little ESP32 camera thing. So uh, it, it is pretty interesting. It's got a Wi-Fi module on it and you can put a, an SD card in it and of course it's got the little camera here which goes into that uh, connector there and it is a a Wi-Fi camera ah yes it's test clips These test clips, these are the grabber type, so they're long and insulated and are great for reaching into places where you have high voltages. And they just plug in there and then this can plug into your meter. Ah, yeah. Okay, I got these. These are just female inline female banana sockets so you just make up cables uh, so I wanted to make up some extens banana extension cables so that's what these are for this ah yeah just these little banana sockets I use them a lot in my projects you see any stuff I build I, I quite frequently use these little things so I um, just run out of them just restocking the supply here. All right, this is one of those little USB. Do I have to? Oh, I will open this up. I don't have to cut it. Little USB power monitor. So they're just inline females on both ends, female to female. So two males can go in them like that. Just a handy part of the old tool kit. Right. Okay, here's another AliExpress bag. All this stuff, by the way, well, well, most of it is from AliExpress. That goes with the radios. I can feel what that is. It's a speaker microphone. Tools, tools, oh yes, tweezers. Never have too many tweezers. Ah, yes. I was just running out of these, actually. These are really handy. These are just little silicone rubber stick-on feet with bumps. I use them as feet. A variety of them this time. Yeah, I go through a lot of them. Nothing else in that. This is one of those uh, component checkers. Never had one of these before. Some leads, a little USB cable. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Even include a couple of little things to test. Oh, the little, the little button, the little knob is broken. That's okay. I've got about a million of these uh, sockets around. I'll pull one off there. Let's see about this capacitor here. Ten UF capacitor. Well, there you go. Ah. Barrel jacks and plugs for making inline extension cables. Files. I've got two sets of these, one for my son and one for myself. They're just handy little files. There's a little uh, screwdriver set. 24 different bits. <laughs> Adult proof gizmos. That's a very, very fine Phillips. Is it holding there well? Oh, well enough. Ah, yes, <laughs> an eight millimeter ratchet end wrench. You know, I work a lot on motorcycles, dirt bikes mostly, and uh, most of the Japanese and European motorcycles use extensive use of, of six millimeter bolts, which have an eight millimeter head on them. And I, for the life of me, can't understand where all my eight millimeter wrenches go, but, uh, they do seem to disappear at, at, at a great rate. Feels like a very fine ratchet. I don't know how strong it would be. It's apparently chrome vanadium. Okay, what do we got here? Now, this is a magnetizer for magnetizing and demagnetizing screwdrivers. Yeah, currently we're not magnetized, at least not very well. Okay, and it's supposed to. Now, let's, does it demagnetize? Yes, it does. Ah, uh, yes. These are for, for connectors, for taking connectors apart. I've never had a set of these before. I don't know how they work. I don't know which one's for which. If I ever figure it out, I'll show you. Or maybe if somebody knows, I could leave it in the comments. All right, this is just a utility knife. It comes with a few extra blades. It's always nice to have a, a utility knife. It's not really for my electronics, but more for my household tools. Made out of plastic. It's not a metal one. Okay, some test leads here. Now I was hoping to use these test leads. In the garage. I have a meter out there, but one of the test leads got run over. You can't get silicone leads for two dollars. They are a soft vinyl though, they're not too bad. Ah yes, this goes with the radios. This is a programming cable. 
All right, folks, thanks for joining me today. I've got caught up at this point with my mail. Uh, there's more coming though. Um, so you can, you will have another in the series of Ali, AliExpress wild shopping spree uh, mailbag videos. And uh, as usual, I'll put links to what I can remember to put links to down at the bottom there if you're interested in any of this stuff. Those links, by the way, they're affiliate links if you're, if you're worth it and getting something like that. Um, just click on the affiliate link and they'll give me, uh, I think it's, what do I get, about 5% or something like that as a, a bonus for showing you guys the way to buy them. But uh, it doesn't cost you guys any more, so I appreciate it. It'll help, uh, help me buy the next thing I get from AliExpress. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next video and do some electronics.